this this is one of those days that will just that will it's amazing it's an amazing feeling to be a wildcat fan um, I don't I don't really follow bass I don't really follow football too much uh, as closely as I do basketball um, but you know the <laughs> the U of A Wildcat uh, football team uh, beat Nevada today, um, and they they were down by 13. The Wildcats, the U of A Wildcats, were down to Nevada um, by 13 points with a little over a minute left in the game in football, and and they came back. The U of A Wildcat came back and they actually end up tying and winning the game they ended up kicking a field goal to uh, just a, a, a field just a one point field goal right in the end uh, in the la and they they ended up winning the game 49 to 48 um, but another then that game happened, so that was a nail biter. So that it was amazing that uh, you know that that's our, that uh, no one not usually wins a football game coming back 15 or coming back 13 points uh, to win the football game with less than a mi or with a minute left in the game. So it was very unusual and it was a, a very nice thing. Uh, for the Wildcats, it was awesome. It was a nice way to finish finish the season. They finished the season with eight wins and five losses now. But uh, then after that, then Arizona, number eight Arizona Wildcats, uh, the number eight Arizona Wildcat basketball team was going to go up against the number five in the nation, Florida Gators. Uh, basketball team at eight o'clock tonight and so that game started and Florida was doing their normal you know they they are a very it's I think Brian Chevry said uh, they are a very well-oiled machine they they were just tearing us up, uh, tearing up the Arizona Wildcats pretty bad, um, we were down by 11 a couple times in the game, um, and we ended up, we had like eight turnovers, and eight turnovers, turnover, any turnovers against Florida are killers, because, kill, because Florida can convert those turnovers into points, uh, quite efficiently. Um, so we had eight turnovers in the first in the first half, and I think they had five turnovers in the first half, which is kind of a coincidence because we had eight turnovers in the game last year, and they had five turnovers in the game in the whole game last year. Whenever we played Florida in Gainesville uh, last year but uh, and then in the second half of this game of the game that went on today the Arizona Wildcats only had two turnovers so it was a major difference and whenever you know we it was funny because we cut down the amount of turnovers significantly um, because we only had to have two, you know. I mean, but, but whenever we cut down the turnovers significantly, then the then the Florida Gators just started knocking down three pointers. They were on fire from three point land. Um, they ended up, I think they made ten out of sixteen three pointers. So they ended up with almost fifty a uh, fifty six percent. Uh, from three-point land, which is huge, you know, it's a major, I, uh, so, but 
and another thing that was uh, another thing that offset that uh, amazing three point uh, shooting that they had was we uh, shot 21, 21 free throws and we made uh, uh, 85% of those free throws which is uh, 18 free throws so we did really really good um, uh, and so that's why we were able to stay in the game. Uh, they shot six free throws, I think, and they made every single one of their free throws. But, you know, that's why we were able to offset their three-point, uh, you know, killing of us. They were, that's why, that's why we were able to keep up with their three points, how well they were doing on three-point land. Um. Another one that was that put in some significant points um, at key point at key spots was uh, of course Mark Lyons because he's a senior I think he's a fifth year senior uh, so he knows what to do out there on the court and he doesn't get rattled so easily but you know another one that stood up which was kind of surprising was Nick Johnson and and I'm not, I, I used to not be, eh, it's just Nick Johnson. I didn't really care too much about Nick Johnson. Eh, I mean, he's a contributor, but, eh, you know, I can't, can't really depend on him too much. I didn't really think about it too much, but he did, he did, he really contributed big time. He Ended up making three out of his four th from three-point land, uh, which was uh, better than Solomon Hill. Which Solomon Hill only made two out of six from three-point land, and and Mark Lyons made two out of two out of five from three-point land. So, you know, just three points. The three points from Nick Johnson were just uh, they were really really helpful, and another. And things that were also really, really helpful is is Param. He's a uh, he was uh, uh, you know a red uh, not a red collar but a blue collar worker down there. Man, he got the lunch pail and he went to town. He worked really, really hard down there in the in the paint, and he didn't get intimidated by any other. By any of the Gators, uh, he still kept fighting, and he ended up with five, five offensive rebounds. And and you know I, I don't know if you know this, but I just I put so much weight on offensive rebounds as compared to defensive rebounds. I think defensive rebounds are very important, but I mean five offensive rebounds. I mean that's that's amazing. You know that's fantastic. And he had one defensive rebound um, so it was almost like a switch you know uh, because everyone you know a lot of people got three off three defensive rebounds and then zero offensive rebounds or two defensive rebounds and zero offensive rebounds so it's but it's, it's I think the most important thing with rebounds according to rebounds is is getting Offensive rebounds are, I think, are huge, are very important. Um, I wanted to see how much our freshmen would step up. And Caleb Tarzuski, I, you know, I, uh, he fought hard, uh, but he is a freshman. And, and their big guy, uh, Florida Gators big guy, um, He's, uh, I think, is a senior or something like that. So he has that veteran experience, and he just knew the right buttons to push for Caleb Tarzuski, and Caleb Tarzuski ended up fouling out with four points. But you know, he played a tough game. Caleb Tarzuski played a tough game, and uh, the other freshman that really, that really stepped up and really was key to this game, the the victory in this game, was uh, Grant Jarrett. Um, you know, he didn't, uh, he didn't make his, uh, three-pointer, but, you know, he made two out of four from, 
from field goal, field goal range. So he, I think he made that was probably two or three, but um, and he made uh, one out of the two from free throws. So you know that helped, and it was right at the it was right at the <laughs> critical moment. You know, the last few seconds of the game. So the the game was on the line, and he stepped up, and he you know like a man. And uh, he, he, um, you know, he may, he scored some, po he scored a point and he drew a foul, you know, which is a, uh, uh, turning the table is a good, very, very good things. Um, anyway, uh, so we ended up winning the game by one point. Now, though, you know, as like I said, the bad football game, we ended up winning the game 49 to 48 by one point. And then with the basketball game, then we ended up winning the game <laughs> in this basketball game 65-64 by one point again. So it's it's very unusual. This type of thing never happens. It's very, very, very uncommon. It's it's almost like it's almost like a, a lightning bolt striking the same spot twice. It's just it just does not happen. It's just not it's not a frequent thing ever. So anyway, I just I this I think this would be this would probably go down as one of the biggest wildcat. The biggest days to be a Wildcat fan. Big, the most uh, amazing, fantastic days to be a Wildcat fan. Uh, they should call this the One Day Wonder Saturday or something like that, you know, for the Wildcats. One Day Wonder.